hit my husband. What's so that's his what I'm saying. I just want to let you know he's a professional fighter because I don't want no cop to get injured or yeah, anything. We just want. No, we don't want, no, we don't want anyone to get hurt. Um, what's know. your What's your husband's name? Tony Ferguson. <laughs> You're not good enough. Nobody likes you. Your hair looks bad. You're too skinny. You're too fat. Your smile is crooked. All these things that your mind is telling you. The silent killer. Anxiety. I've dealt with anxiety for my entire life. At least most of my adolescent life. The way it penetrates your mind is like nothing that I've ever experienced before. But I made a choice to instead not be suffering through anxiety, but to live with anxiety. You can live your life suffering with it. Allowing those words to mold the truth of the reality that you live in. Or you can accept that it is nothing other than your mind playing tricks on you. And once you do that, your life will change tenfold. Because that's exactly what anxiety is. It's all words and lies that your mind tries to make you to believe. But when you turn that switch off, you truly understand what anxiety is. An invisible evil. Your life will become so much better. Live by your rules, not anxiety's rules. Love you guys. Take care. You ever cheated on a guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have. I have. I have. What did you do? What What happened? Look, it wasn't even that bad. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know they were best friends. <laughs> When you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up. While most people turn to partying and drinking away their problems, there is a small subset of individuals who use their pain and anger as fuel to work out. Day after day, they destroy their bodies using iron weights to the point of physical and mental exhaustion, being on the brink of passing out. On the surface, it seems as these individuals are working out to be healthier. However, in reality, they use fitness as a means to escape trauma and pain. They are afraid that if they ever stop working out, depression will catch up to them, causing them to spiral down into a deep, dark hole once again. want to be like everybody else that roams the world being fine with being mediocre do you want to be a bitch today do you want to feel like a little bitch do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could but you didn't come on you bitch you scared coward you need to fucking work harder you need to fucking discipline your mind better be the guy who embraces the ugly the miserable
If someone can fall asleep knowing you're crying, knowing you're hurting or didn't get home safe, they don't care for you. Trust me. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. There is something to fucking discuss here. Let's go through the mandatories first. Whew. And also, let me fucking catch my breath. Goodness. to exercise daily because when you exercise daily you begin to train your muscles you begin to train your cardiovascular system but above and beyond that you begin to get results those results are more wins that you're stacking and those results are a byproduct of discipline of consistency of effort of focus of delayed gratification because you and I both know this one awesome workout is not going to give you the results you want one week of awesome workouts won't give you the results you want one month you might start seeing some results one year or six months now you're seeing some results and what did that teach you that taught you that even if you're not feeling like it even if you're not motivated that day you are gonna go into the gym you're gonna hit the trail you're gonna do your exercise routine no matter what because you are a disciplined consistent focused individual and that that individual is a confident person who stacks wins, and that's what you want. <laughs> I, whew, for whatever reason, the architect or the light designer, they were cooking when they made that little side room. I wish they could keep that fucking you know keep that up for the whole gym but what are you gonna do so let's see what kind of pump we've got oh not bad Maybe front double, just kind of for fucking fun. I weigh 84 kilograms and I'm 5 foot 10. And when I stopped measuring all of my worth and progression based off what the scales told me and trying to shrink myself down to just be as tiny as possible, that's when I started making progress. How many of you guys married or have a girlfriend? Most of you. Look guys, this one's really important. This is something that nobody talks about. It's something that you didn't learn in school. It's something that your parents most likely never told you about. But as men, the wrong woman will set your life back 10 years. And I'm sorry to be the one to have to tell you this. I'm sorry that this is a conversation most people are unwilling to have, but I've seen too many people that I care about throw away valuable years of their life with the wrong person. A lot of people don't recognize it. They get so used to living this miserable existence. They get so used to the stress. They get so used to the lack of support. It becomes their baseline. They don't recognize it as being a problem. But if you are not the king within your household, if you are not even the leader within your own household as a man, how the can you possibly expect to be the leader in any other area of life? Says I'm a boy, for you I'm a boy, we love money,